Are you suffering from knee pain with weakness, tightness? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. I'll be demonstrating a simple follow along video for beginners Pilates combined with physical therapy treatment plan to help your knee pain, swelling, tightness safely and effectively. So get your mat ready and a small bolster or foam roller to join me today. Okay, my friends, we'll start lying on your back, placing the bolster, which is six inches diameter in width, placing underneath your knee to slowly warm up you're activating your deep knee muscles. So with the foam roller there, it's gentle enough. If it's still hurting you a lot, you can use a foam roller, wrap it, make it into a six inch diameter. So placing underneath your knee, you're gonna slowly inhale and exhale to activate your deep core muscles. Now gently, as you inhale, slowly lift the knee that's hurting you, toes pointing away, pressing the bolster softly and gently and hold that for five deep breaths keep those knee muscles activated with your breath inhale and exhale keeping those knee muscles activating I'm squeezing it as hard as I can gently pressing the bolster pointing my toes away engaging my core and you might feel tired and fatigued and that's okay. We're strengthening the deep muscles without a lot of movement on your knees, but holding that position is a good workout. Last deep breath and exhale. Then slowly lower it down. Ooh, that was a nice hold for five deep breaths. Inhale up. We'll do this one more repetition. Inhale and exhale. Pressing your knee down on the bolster or roll towel. Inhale, keeping your toes pointing away. You might feel achiness more on your knee as long as it's not excruciating pain. More on muscle fatigue. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more deep breaths. Last one. And exhale, slowly lowering your knee down, your foot down to the mat and relax your knee. Oh, that was lovely. Now we are going to progress. If you want, you can progress with both knees up. So this time I'm lifting the other leg so if your bad leg is your right, try to strengthen the good leg as well. As you inhale, squeezing your core in, keeping your core engagement and hold that for five deep breaths. And you might feel a little bit difference. One side is easier and the injured knee feels a little bit more challenging to hold it now. Two more deep breaths. Last one. And exhale down slowly. So you might feel a little bit more tired already and that's normal for beginners. And now, removing the bolster, we are progressing with simple bridging. So bridging is a great way to strengthen your knee as you lift your buttocks off the mat Squeezing your core in, try not to overarch. Engaging your knee muscle by tightening it as well, your quads. As you inhale and then exhale, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. And down with your breath work. Inhale up, squeezing your core in, squeezing your glutes, tightening your quads. 
and then exhale slowly go down one vertebrae at a time to strengthen your back muscles as well inhale up squeezing your core in and exhale down gentle to your knees and your back inhale up i have a lot of patience with knee pain and because of their limping it causes back pain so you have to treat both your back and your knees to have a balanced body so this is great for your back your glutes and your knees two more to go inhale up squeezing hard on your core to strengthen your core muscles tightening your glutes tightening your quads as you exhale slowly go down and well you might feel tired now and maybe most of you can't do it yet that's fine even try your best to lift as high as you can as long as you're not overarching your spine last one and exhale down gently the next progression lengthen the bad leg and we're going to do straight leg raise leveled only to the bent knee to protect your back so this is my bent knee my back is in neutral spine and i'm not lifting it to 90. you activate more of your knee muscles if you stay only to the level of your knee so on the bent knee on the opposite leg and then exhale slowly go down so straight leg raise inhale only as high as 45 degree angle level to the bent knee inhale and then exhale slowly go down squeezing your core in to protect your back and engaging your core so inhale up level to the opposite knee and you might feel shaky now on your quads and your hip flexors that will help support your knee pain so you want to make sure you target your hip muscles your deep hip muscles and your quads so with your toes pointing straight it helps activate your knees as well if your toes pointing up like this you feel it more on your calf and your hamstrings so you can do both ways so if you want you can start with your toes pointing you we'll do that five times if you burn now if you need to pause and rest that's fine last one and then with your toes pointing away to progress and you might feel it more now on your quads as you lift so this helps strengthen the patellar tendon that goes over your patella to insert on your leg muscles and if you don't strengthen it in the straight position then that's why people buckle a lot as well because they can't lock their knees last one you feel tired now and rest Ooh, that was beautiful okay my friends now we're gonna do tabletop with your knees bent to 90 as you inhale and then exhale extend inhale bend to 90 exhale extend so that really targets your knee holding that position 90 degrees only not too close to your chest or not too far 90 degrees as you exhale extend inhale bend exhale up two more last one and down slow and easy the next progression we're going to do heel raises so this will help your knee if you're loosening up your ankle stiffness so when you walk you want to make sure you could propel well as you step heel strike toe off and if you have weakness on your ankle it puts pressure on your knee so don't neglect your ankles as these are very important areas that will help support our knee joint two more breathe your breathing exhale okay we're going to progress now by bridging again 
lifting your buttocks off the mat and hold that position as we continue with tippy toes heel and then toes up to strengthen the front of your leg inhale up exhale toes up feel the burn if you can't do this yet you can progress it next time it's okay this is a program each one is different two more last one and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time okay my friends the next progression we're going to target your gluteus mid muscle so we're going to lie on your side targeting my right side so i'm lying on my left and this is a great way to strengthen by doing clamshell with your knees bent at 45 degrees and your hip slowly open your knee up and down inhale exhale squeezing the core in without twisting your spine you don't want to lift and then you're leaning back body aligned pelvis aligned core engage two more inhale exhale last one and now we are progressing by with your knees bent to 90 and lifting your knee and your foot this time so earlier the clamshell you're just lifting the top foot not the top knee now we're lifting your foot and your knee in a parallel position so it's called parallel clamshell so you might feel the burn now on your IT band all the way to your glutes so that's why you're having knee pain sometimes there's no strength to support your knee because of weakness on your glutes max your medius as well as your IT band tightness so you might feel a pull as you go down two more to go last one and now pressing left sides we're going it's great you're gonna lift your knee and your foot off the mat you can keep your elbows here or extended if you're stiff on your back keeping your elbows here target your low back as well as your glutes muscles so with your knees straight lift exhale down engaging your core with your breathing so I'm focusing a lot on my right knee so if that's your injured side if it's your left focus on your left and if you want to balance you have more time doing both knees last one and down now we're going to do knee curls we're going to bend one knee toes pointing to the ceiling and turn your head where you're bending your knee so i'm bending my right knee i'm turning my head to the right as i inhale as i exhale i look straight and lower my foot down so inhale turn exhale down four more it feels a good stretch on your back you might find your hamstrings getting tired cramping and that's normal two more last one and down that's it i'm hoping you enjoyed my simple beginners pilates to strengthen and help support your knee if you're having pain weakness and tightness my recommendation is to put some ice after your workout and heat before you start at least 10 20 minutes whenever you have time to help support this inflammation and help healing process of your soft tissue if you have any questions leave a comment down below i'll try my best to answer each one of you or direct message me on my social media and subscribe like this video ring the bell so you won't miss anything about pilates yoga and physical therapy health and wellness if you find value on all of my videos until my next video always remember be safe be well and healthy through you bye